Hey friends, welcome back to Homemade Homestead. My name is Rachel, if you're new around here. And today I am bringing you my pantry by your guys' request. <laughs> this is a very messy pantry. I am gonna share some disclaimers. It is not organized, it is not clean, and we are on a budget. So I need your guys' help with organizing it. Give me your ideas, your inspiration, and tell me what I am doing wrong. <laughs> So I am going to give you a full tour. We'll go shelf by shelf. I'll tell you kind of what I keep in this area. Maybe there's a better way of keeping different things together, but we're going to tackle this together. No judgment. No judgment. Just uh, I need your guys' help. So by your request, I'm finally going to do it. I'll show you the pantry. All right. Let's see. All right. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, it looks worse on camera. It really, I don't know, in person I feel like it's not as disorganized, but on here, oh, it just looks like a hot mess. It's just so bad. Okay, we'll start up at the top. So this is all of our plasticware stuff. So we have paper plates, napkins, forks, spoons, knives, some other like party supplies. We don't use these often, that's why I put them up top. Then we have some plastic bottles that I had hopes of making the kids like homemade paint and I kept a bunch of those. We have some dry goods back there from the garden, or not the garden, all of them aren't from the garden, like the strawberries. The strawberries I dehydrated, but there's also mint and some green onions. And this is our candy bin. I would like to put that in a better storage container because that way the kids won't get it. They only get it on Friday night, they get one piece. So we're stingy with the candy. <laughs> Um, let's see. Oh, this fryer we never use. So should I just get rid of it? Probably so, right? We just, we never use a fryer. I have an air fryer. So maybe we should just toss that. That's the top shelf. Okay. It's pretty tall. So, okay. Now we're going down to our second shelf. Over here, it's very random. Like we have some snacks, some ginger chews, malto meal, some crackers baby cereal. My baby doesn't like this, so I need to donate that. And then over here, this area, we can totally change up because this is all of our goat supplies and we are going to get rid of our goats here soon and we don't pull from this very often. So this whole shelf over here, this, this back corner, like about here over, like baby bottles from when we had to bottle feed our goats, um, we're not using this. So this can all go in a bin to use for a different time. So that whole area will be open. And then over here, it's quite random. I have a bunch of teas, that goes all the way back, teas, coffees, some canning lids, a bunch of different, um, kind of my stuff. Like I'm the one who uses the cocoa powder or flax meal, stevia, kind of that stuff back here. So this is like my gluten-free section. And then down here, more random stuff. This is where, if it was a perfect world, this would be like all my beautiful spices, but I have a hard time with spices because they're all different shapes. Like we have a lot of these mason jars. I have a lot of quart mason jars, so if that would be a good thing to store things in, let me know if that's a good idea. But we have garlic powder, onion powder, but then we have like small spices and extracts, so it's kind of like a hodgepodge, and I just don't know of a good way of organizing that. So that was all of our spices. And then over here is like our baking stuff. These are both sugar. We've got some rice, brown sugar, peanut butter powder. I stuck the kids Play-Doh in here because oh, I have a love-hate relationship with Play-Doh. <laughs> the kids love it, but it makes such a mess. And then over here we have crackers, ramen. This is like a Tupperware full of dried beans, barley, that kind of stuff. Down here we have some cereal that is just stuck in here randomly crackers, some more plasticware. See, I could put all that together, huh? All the plasticware should be together. Then we also have plastic wrap, parchment paper, a big bag of dried beans. Back here I have some quart jars of dehydrated celery. It kind of goes back there a ways, but way in the back we have some containers of like brown rice, olive oil, pasta. And over here, my like original idea was to have some canned goods so I can pull from them when I need. So it just it becomes a mixture of stuff. Like here's some kids snacks and there's some cooking oil. 
So there is all that. One thing I wanted to mention up on the spice shelf is we do have this extension rack. So it like makes it double, but I only have one of those and it's about a foot long, maybe by six to, I don't know, 10 inches deep. So there is that that we can use. And like I said, I have a lot of quart jars or pint jars, so maybe something like that. And now the floor, it looks quite hideous, but I love having these buckets here because we use a ton of oats, a ton of rice, and a ton of flour. So those are my three buckets, but I could go through all this stuff and maybe pare it down. Like I don't have to have my big bowls up here all the time. I use these for canning. These are just a bin of onions. This was a bag of sweet potatoes, but I think I only have like one left in there. We have a bucket of salt and then like a container of honey, but I'd like to incorporate all this stuff and get it off the floor besides like the three buckets. Like see, look, we have egg containers shoved in the back. This is a box of bags, like trash bags. And then here in our lockbox, this is just to keep our medicine cabinet just out of the way of kids. So, and tablecloths. I think that is it. Let me show you an overall of the pantry. So yeah, it's pretty bad. All right guys, there it is. There's our messy pantry. Please help me. It's quite a mess. So if you have any ideas, please leave them down below. What kind of containers you think I should get? Please, I'm trying to stay on a budget. I don't want to spend a lot of money. Um, I do have a lot of quart jars. I have pint jars. I have that shelf extension. Um, I don't know, we can, we can come up with different things. I'm just kind of at a loss. It just gets shoved in and so disorganized. So please let me know what you think down below in the comments. Love hearing you, from you guys and um, please help me. I hope you guys are having an awesome day wherever you are. We'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye now. <laughs>